Aziza Astana, and I used, I've studied uh, engineering, electrical engineering in my country. I used to write art criticism articles in newspaper. And I'm an asylum seeker, currently living in Melbourne. I've joined Melbourne Artists for Asylum Seekers while I was living in detention centre. So this is Evie and um, I'm coordinating Asylum Silk Road project. Um, I studied uh, printmaking when I was in South Korea and since then I had a little bit of uh, um, questions about actually buying art by myself. I wasn't sure um, what actually art does in the society and that's why I started doing some community art with many different group of people. The Asylum Silk Rose project is a collaborative art project between five different community groups with both asylum seeker, seekers, refugees and also volunteers and those with refugee backgrounds. And we are trying to make one piece between these groups to bring them all together and share one goal, which is the unity of diversity through art and language exchange and cultural exchange. So the two days workshop was pretty amazing because we were only expecting a handful of people and then a lot of people showed up and many participants and we were very happy about it. We got a few different classes in the future and each class will have different theories and uh, skills set. However, we're not sure actually how the final artwork will be turned up because people are making it and we are very excited to see like, what sort of artwork it will turn up. No matter whether you're an artist or just have a passion for art, if you have an experience or not, I, we strongly encourage you to join in our workshops and join in the project just to share art and make friendships and play with colors and just enjoy the time of sharing art with like-minded people. Thank you. <laughs> 